News for Jack's I team is getting more information about a labor dispute in Jacksonville Beach involving Jacksonville Beach lifeguards. The I team has learned hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars are on the line if the Volunteer Life Saving Corps is dissolved, which the city of Jacksonville Beach is considering. Jennifer Waugh spoke with the former president of the Corps on The Morning Show. For 110 years, the Volunteer Life Saving Corps has recruited and trained the lifeguards that you see patrolling Jacksonville Beach. What you may not realize is that the lifeguards you saw working on Sundays and holidays during those busy summer months were not being paid. In fact, they never have been for those days. They were volunteering their time on those days as part of a partnership between the Volunteer Life Saving Corps and the city of Jacksonville Beach. The other days of the week, Monday through Saturday, the lifeguards are paid by the city. Now Jacksonville Beach City leaders say that arrangement can't happen anymore. A lawsuit filed by a former lifeguard revealed federal law prevents the city from paying lifeguards to work if those same lifeguards also volunteer. As a result, Jacksonville Beach's city manager notified the Life Saving Corps at the end of last year that its services would no longer be needed, essentially dissolving the organization. The Life Saving Corps has been fighting that, though, and submitted a third proposal last Friday to try to save the Corps. Now the News for Jack's I team is getting a better idea of what is at stake. We've learned it will cost the city of Jacksonville Beach about $125,000 a year to now pay lifeguards to work on the days that they used to volunteer. So this is 2005, this year I retired. That's my best friend, Chris. Charles Bond is a former president of the Volunteer uh, Life Saving Corps. And we volunteer on the busiest days of the year, the holidays, the 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day, when the beaches are very, very packed. We put 22 towers out on those days, which is almost twice what the city does during the week. And so that will be a huge financial impact on the city taxpayers and the citizens. Which is why Bond says he hopes the city of Jacksonville Beach will accept the Corps' offer to create a separate group of lifeguards who will not work for the city of Jacksonville Beach, but will strictly volunteer on Sundays and holidays, thereby saving the city the money it would have to pay to staff the beach towers on those days, while also abiding by federal labor laws. The Volunteer Life Saving Corps has been nothing but a positive force in our community. It's one of a kind in the world, we believe, and we hope it doesn't have to go away because of some Department of Labor dispute that we can't resolve, which we feel we can. The decision is now up to city leaders. It's already cost, by the way, taxpayers $250,000. Jacksonville Beach's city manager tells me as part of the lawsuit filed by that former lifeguard, the city had to back pay the lifeguards who volunteered from 2019 to the present. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, The Local Station.